What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Blue Blood Sports TV, back at y'all with another one. So, as I told you guys, undefeated three division world champion, superstar boxer, Javante Tank Davis, who is 28 wins, no losses, no draw, 26 big wins by way of knockout. He is 28 years of age, five foot five with a 67 inch arm reach. I told you, I told you guys, Javante Tank Davis, when it was reported that the holdup for the highly anticipated showdown for Javante Tank Davis against undefeated lightweight junior welterweight Mexican superstar title contender and King Rod Ryan Garcia, who has a record of 23 wins, no loss, no draw, 19 wins by way of knockout, 24 years of age, 5 foot 10 with a 70 inch arm reach. It was reported that um, the holdup was a rematch clause, okay? And that Javante Tank Davis and his team <clears throat> wanted a rematch clause, a, a one-way rematch clause that would see if Javante Tank Davis loses to Ryan Garcia April 15th in Las Vegas, Nevada, uh, if he loses, then he gets an immediate rematch. <clears throat> uh, but if he beats Ryan Garcia, there's no rematch clause, and an immediate rematch, should he lose, is going to be for Javante Tank Davis and his partnership with Showtime, Showtime President of Sports, Steven Espinosa, to still be the A-side. Obviously, going into this fight right now, Javante Tank Davis is the clear A-side. Um, and in a rematch, Javante Tank Davis would be the would be the A-side as well, and Showtime would be in control, um, although he just took a loss. And Ryan Garcia would have beaten him, obviously, and his stock would have risen. And uh, Ryan Garcia, when he got wind of this, you know, he was upset. And he told Javante Tank Davis, stop hiding behind Al Heyman. Uh, you don't need a rematch clause. Let's do away with the rematch clause. And as I told you guys, uh, this, was a, this was a suits decision. This was the networks and... Um, the, the the platforms protecting the investment. Now, Ryan Garcia is with Oscar De La Hoya, Golden Boy Promotions, and DAZN, okay? Uh, Ryan Garcia signed a Golden Boy Promotions, and Golden Boy has an obligation to DAZN, the network. Um, Javante Tank Davis has GTD Promotions, Javante Tank Davis Promotions, and Javante Tank Davis uh, um, fights and has a partnership with Showtime, right? Uh, so with that said, uh, I told you guys that this was going to be, uh, uh, this was, this situation was solely based off of the networks. It had nothing to do with Javante Tank Davis uh, wanting a rematch clause or not wanting a rematch clause, right? And Javante Tank Davis, he came out and he said, I don't know where this came from. I don't know nothing about a rematch clause and I don't want no rematch clause and I don't care about a rematch clause. I have no idea where it came from. And as I told you guys, Ryan Garcia, he said, you know, t telling Javante Tank Davis, stop hiding behind Al Heyman. And I told you guys, the rematch clause had nothing to do with Javante Tank Davis and it had nothing to do with Ryan Garcia. It had everything to do with uh, the networks wanting to protect the investment, period, right? Um, this was uh, uh, employed by Showtime to say, well, Javante Tank Davis is the biggest star that we have over here right now, you know, um, well, one of the biggest stars that we have right now. Uh, he's a pay-per-view star. You know, uh, he does big numbers at the gate, you know, and uh, they wanted to protect their investment, which is Javante Tank Davis, right? Uh, and they're going to fund the money. So I, I told you guys, Javante Tank Davis had uh, nothing to do with this rematch clause. And when it was cleared up, right? And, you know, uh, a few hours later, I mean, a few days later, it was cleared up and then reports came out that uh, Javante Tank Davis uh, and his team um, is going to send a revised contract to Ryan Garcia, uh, removing a rematch clause. And I told you guys that was due to Javante Tank Davis. Essentially, uh, uh, Javante Tank Davis going to his team and saying, hey, man, scratch the rematch clause. Don't let I don't this can't be no hold up. This can't be preventing my fight. You know, um, this can't be an anchor. You know, uh, Steven Espinosa, he came out and he stated that, you know, uh, it was nice to know there was only one issue and that one issue was um, the rematch clause that that could easily be, you know, cleared up and fixed. You know, um, 
and and as I told you guys, right? You know, um, I I, I knew this. This didn't have anything to do with uh, uh, Javante Tank Davis. This had everything to do with the networks and Javante. And I told you guys, Javante Tank Davis more than likely he he went uh, to his team and he's like, listen do away i don't know what what this rematch clause is about i don't want you know this holding up the fight this is the fight i want you know um or it got out you know uh about this rematch clause and they was like you know what javante Tank davis ain't gonna be happy about this because it's it's it's, a, it's it's looking like a stain on his part uh in his negotiations and you know then they decided listen we just gotta go ahead and scratch it it is what it is right um and I told you guys that was that was going to be the case because Javante Tank Davis is not going into this fight with Ryan Garcia thinking I'm going to lose. I told you guys that, right? Javante Tank Davis could care less about a rematch clause, and neither can Ryan Garcia. Javante Tank Davis uh, is not viewing Ryan Garcia as a, 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 a fighter. I need this rematch clause just in case I lose. That's like admitting to yourself that you know you're gonna lose or there's a strong possibility you can lose. Now, obviously, like I stated before, Javante Tank Davis is well aware of Ryan Garcia's skill set, um, Ryan Garcia's um, ability to, to punch hard with both hands, his fast hands. He's very aware that Ryan Garcia, and he's very uh, um, um, focused on Ryan Garcia and he's not overlooking him. But in no means is Javante Tank Davis uh, look viewing Ryan Garcia and saying, I need a rematch clause just in case I lose. He's not viewing that. He's not looking at it from that standpoint. I have no doubt in my mind that that ever crossed Javante Tank Davis's mind. That never ever crossed Javante Tank Davis's mind that he needed a rematch clause. Um, with 90% of these fighters, that more than likely didn't uh, cross their mind. Unless you, you're such a big superstar uh, within the sport like uh, Floyd Mayweather, you know, um, where you have to, you know, uh, um, protect that investment is so much money involved uh uh it's so much at stake you know and when you're dealing with floyd mabel it's like automatic or you're dealing with a champion like Devin haney who's the undisputed lightweight undefeated world champion superstar boxer he holds all the belts uh it's a major risk and you know um automatically you're going to put a rematch clause when you're the champion you want the opportunity to regain your title should you lose again it's not the fighter saying, I'm going to go in there and I'm, man, I could lose this fight. No, it's, that's not the case. You understand what I'm saying? Uh, it's the it's the, the powers that be. It's the networks and the managers and the, and the promoters. They want to protect their investment. I mean, when you're a champion, you don't want to lose those belts without the opportunity to immediately regain those belts, right? Uh, that's something that held up the Deontay Wilder, Anthony Joshua undisputed heavyweight showdown when... Uh, Eddie Hearn, Matchroom, Matchroom CEO and promoter and promoter of Anthony Joshua, uh, he refused to give Deontay Wilder a rematch clause. Uh, he wanted a one-way rematch clause when Deontay Wilder was a champion. So Eddie Hearn stated that he would never let none of his champions go into a fight without a rematch clause, but yet he wanted Deontay Wilder to go into the fight, and he was the longest reigning champion in the WBC undefeated heavyweight world champion without a rematch clause, right? A one-way rematch clause where Anthony Joshua wins, he gets the rematch clause. Uh, Deontay Wilder wins, uh, he gets a rematch, right? <clears throat> but he's the B-side again, right? First, it was no rematch. It was a one-way rematch. Then it was a rematch where he would be the B-side, you know? So uh, those types of things, you know, uh, uh, those types of games are played to, to put roadblocks in the way of fights happening. And I told you guys in no shape, form, or fashion, that uh, Javante Tank Davis was was uh, standing uh, 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 on his square about some rematch clause. I told you that wasn't the case at all. And he came out and he said, I don't even know nothing about a rematch clause and I don't care about no rematch clause. I don't want a rematch clause. And, you know, um, he clarified that. And I, as I told you guys, it's the networks, right? Again, these networks and these, these managers and promoters, they will prevent a fight from happening to protect their bottom line, right? If Javante Tank Davis uh, uh, um, didn't have a word or strong word, this could have been a major issue from this fight coming to fruition. And it have nothing to do with the fighters. Ryan Garcia don't care about a rematch clause. Tank Davis don't care about a rematch clause, but the networks are, 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 are feuding over a rematch clause and uh, uh, who's gonna be 
in control should the, the Tank Davis lose and the rematch has to happen? Who's going to be? That has nothing to do with the fighters. And like, once again, the suits and the networks and the promoters will prevent these fights from happening. You got to pay attention. And that's all I got for y'all. Make sure you hit the like button. Drop a comment in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think. Y'all already know what it is. It's your boy, Blue. Blue Blood Sports TV. Hate, like, comment, and subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Hit the bell icon to get all the new notifications. Follow me on Instagram at Blue Blood Sports TV. All one word. Y'all already know what it is. Shout out to the entire LDBC. Shout out to Black Media Row. Make sure you like and share these videos. That's all I got for y'all. Peace.